all of the classes that I teach are always modified to your ability, but please make sure you're practicing safely. So with some water, on a chair, next to a wall, whatever you need to make sure that your practice can be the best that it can be and the most grounded and suitable for you. Today we're going to be working on yoga specifically for obesity. So I'm going to be talking a little bit around yoga, our practice and what affects obesity as well. And we're going to be splitting this into two parts. Let's get started. Okay, part two of our yoga for obesity, focusing specifically on our chakras this week. So last week, if you didn't practice the class, or if you did and you just want a reminder, we worked on our root, our sacral and our solar plexus, so our belly chakras, making sure that we're activating all of those glands that's part of the endocrine system to help regulate our systems basically, because digestion is part of that endocrine system. This week we're going to be focusing on our heart, our throat, our third eye and our crown. Okay, so we're on a chair again. We've still got our strap, our tie, our scarf, our belt because that's going to come in handy. Let's just settle into our class. Coming onto your chair, hands onto your thighs, palms facing up, closing down the eyes. And just breathing here. leaving behind whatever else you've been doing today. And just coming into your chair, bringing all of your focus into your body, into your breath, coming back into this present moment. Breathing in through your nose, out through your nose. Okay, once you feel like you've connected with your breath, we're gonna keep going with our breath. You can feel free to keep your eyes closed or open them. We're gonna place both hands onto our heart, so directly in the center of our chest, one hand on top of the other. Feeling that energy and heat from the palm of our hand going straight through our chest, penetrating our heart. And feel on your inhales how your chest rises, expands, as well as that belly, and then contracts on the exhale. Sending that energy to the heart Maybe you can even feel the beat through your chest into your palm. Switch over so the other palm is now onto your chest. Just feel that heat again, really working its way deep down inside of you, connecting with your heart. Take one more really deep breath in. And exhale, hands away from the heart, open up your eyes. Grabbing hold of this strap. Maybe you don't need it. We're gonna be interlacing our hands behind of us. Just like so. And then reaching the knuckles down whilst lifting this chest up. So if you find it hard to interlace your hands, you can hold on to your strap where you need to to get a feeling of this chest lifting and shoulder blades squeezing together. So interlace your hands, keep the feet grounded. 
Really big inhale, draw the knuckles down towards the chair, lift this chest up, gaze up ever so slightly. The main feeling we want here is that the shoulder blades are drawing together, the chest is pulling through, right through to me. The lower back isn't doing much, it's all about this upper back. Maybe you take the knuckles away from the body. And keep breathing here. Keep grounding through the tailbone. Keep tension in that neck. Don't be tempted to just drop your head back. This is working on the complete opposite of how we might usually sit with our upper back, really slumped, especially if we're working at a desk. Three more breaths here. Final inhale, exhale, chin back to the chest, uninterlace those hands and just give those hands a bit of a wiggle. Really nice. Okay, coming into a seated twist now. Thinking about our lower back though, our lower back isn't meant to twist. The way of the vertebrae is, it crunches against one another, whereas the upper back allows that twisting. So think about the hip bones still facing me and it's just the upper back that is twisting. That'll make more sense when we get there. So we're gonna place our left hand onto our right thigh, and then our right hand is coming behind us. Maybe you're holding onto the chair. Inhale, lift up the crown, draw the tailbone down. And on your exhale, that's when you're thinking about this left rib cage spinning round to the right, making sure that both hip bones are still facing me. Maybe you've got enough range in that neck to gaze over that right shoulder. And make sure you're still breathing really nice deep breaths. Keep breathing. Maybe you've got space to spin that left rib cage around to the right a little bit more but only if you can keep the hips grounded and facing forward. Final inhale, crown of the head high. Exhale, twist that tiny bit more, or stay where you are. Inhale all the way back round to center. Other side, right hand to the left thigh. Left hand behind you, maybe holding onto the chair. Inhale, lift, exhale, twist. Again, lower back doesn't really move. It is just that upper spine. Both knees are facing forward. Both hips are facing forward. Maybe you're gazing over that right shoulder, that left shoulder, and you're breathing. Final big inhale, crown of the head high, tailbone grounded. Exhale that little bit more. Inhale all the way back nice and slowly, really good. Coming into our throat chakra now, coming into our seated cat cows. This is probably my favorite yoga pose and especially seated. So we're gonna have our hands onto our thighs, maybe onto our knees, wherever you can reach comfortably. You're going to inhale into your cow, so you're gazing up, you're sticking your tailbone out from the side. So at this point you are sticking your ribcage out, drawing your shoulder blades together. Bit of tension onto your thighs with your th hands pulling back. And then on your exhale you're rounding through your spine, you're pulling your belly towards that spine, you're tucking the chin to the chest and you're elongating your hands away from the body, so you're separating your shoulder blades now. Inhale, reach all the way up, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Exhale, all the way down. Inhale. Up. 
exhale down inhale really come to the end of that inhale end of that exhale final time really make this count coming back into center into your neutral spine we're coming into a seated camel now if this doesn't feel good in your body just come into a few more rounds of the seated cat cow that we were just doing I'll stay facing the side so you can see me but you absolutely don't have to move around we're going to be placing both of our hands onto our lower back with our fingers facing down and our thumbs facing to the outside drawing our elbows towards one another as much as we can and the same feeling as cow we're going to be lifting up through every single vertebrae reaching the crown high and then thinking about this chest is the only thing moving and that is lifting you up, lifting you up, almost like you've got something holding you here that's pulling you up to the sky. So keep lifting this chest up, keep pulling the shoulder blades together, elbows together, gazing up ever so slightly. And we're not moving this lower back. You can feel how supported your lower back is with those hands. It's just this chest lifting, lifting, lifting. Exhale, tuck the chin to the chest, coming back into neutral. Just giving those shoulders, those hands a wiggle out. We're gonna do that two more times. If that feels funny, you feel dizzy, stay where you are and breathe or come into your cat cow. Hands back onto the lower back, fingers down, thumbs out. Inhale, think about the vertebrae lifting through the crown of the head. The chest is starting to pull. The shoulder blades and elbows are drawing towards one another and you're gazing up. Your lower back isn't doing any movement. It's just that upper back. Feel your breath expanding here, even though it might feel a bit sticky. Exhale, tuck your chin to your chest, coming back into neutral just give those shoulders and arms a wiggle one more time when you're ready hands back to the lower back inhale through every vertebrae chest to the sky and starting to take that gaze up to the sky to the ceiling Make sure you're not holding your breath. Make sure you're taking nice deep inhales and exhales. And then exhale all the way back, chin to the chest, hands back. Really good job. Just coming back into your breath. Third eye chakra now, so we're onto the sixth chakra this is the chakra that at the end of the class when I tell you to put your hands together thumbs to the third eye that is where the thumbs are going to the space in between the eyebrows okay so we're going to be coming into cow face arms and cross legs whether your legs are in eagle so you've got your foot wrapped all the way around you've got just normal cross legs or maybe just crossed ankles wherever you are I really want you to think about these thighs engaging and pulling towards one another though so we'll start off with the arms. So we're going to have our left arm under and then our right arm over. Again, if you start to stick out your rib cage to get your hands together, grab your tie, drape it down, and then hold it with that one down hand. And that is going to help you make sure that the rib cage isn't sticking out. You're nice and neutral. Okay, so once you've come into those arms, then think about the legs, do one at a time. So left arm under, palm facing away from you, right arm up and over, facing towards you. Maybe you can get that grip of the fingers. Wherever you want to go, whether you want to come into those eagle legs with that right foot wrapped up and over and then around, you come into just normal cross legs with your right leg on top or ankles crossed with your right ankle on top, or just stay with your feet grounded. Wherever you are, really engage the inner thighs, so squeeze them towards one another. 
right elbow really drawing up to the sky and away from your face so to the back of the chair and consider that rib cage is it pulling in or is it sticking out breathing here maybe you've even got your eyes closed five more breaths here Final breath for me. And release. Really nice. Switching over to the other side. So right arm under, palm facing away. Left arm over, palm facing towards you. Whether you can grip or not, remember we're practicing with our body rather than our ego. Crossing this left leg over. Maybe that left leg wraps underneath the right or you go to where you can, squeezing those thighs in towards one another, drawing that left elbow up and back. Both sides could feel completely different, which is so normal, so just go with it. Don't overanalyze too much, remember. Yoga is all about releasing that attachment and expectations. Okay, five breaths here. Final breath and release nice and slowly. Coming into our supported downward facing dog now. So we've got our chairs. We're gonna be coming away from our chairs Make sure your chair isn't on a slippy surface so it could be balanced against a wall. We're gonna have our hands onto the chair, backwards, about hips width distance apart. And then thinking about the tailbone lifting and having that head in between the arms, in between the biceps if that is comfortable. Maybe you've got those knees bent, that is absolutely fine. And we're thinking about the crown of the head and the tailbone again. There's a similar theme here. We're creating that space in between our vertebrae. Reaching the hands, the fingers, all the way up through the shoulders, up to the tailbone. Maybe you've even got this head hanging, nice and released away from the neck. Okay, three more breaths here. Nice and slowly coming up, coming back all the way to your seat, really nice. Coming on to our final chakra now, our crown chakra. So we're gonna be coming into a seated forward fold, taking our legs out wide. If you do want your hands on a chair, you can rest your hands onto the chair as well. Absolutely go for it. If it feels a bit too much, you start, start to get dizzy with your head completely down. Whenever you're ready, start to hang down, rest your hands onto the ground and allow your head to grow really heavy. Feeling this breath filling up through the back of the ribs now and the side of the ribs where the belly is a bit more constricted. Okay. 
Okay, final three breaths here. Inhale, slowly rolling all the way up, head being the last thing to come up. And now our final pose is Shavasana. Working on the crown chakra, so really working on acceptance within our body and working on bringing us back to the present. This is probably the hardest pose because we've got nothing to do, we've got no distractions. So whether you want to come down to lying now, absolutely feel free grab a jump or whatever you need. Maybe you've got something covering your eyes. If you're on your chair, hands away from your body, palms facing towards me. Feet nice and grounded, about hips width distance apart. Closing down the eyes, thinking about the tailbone in that chair or in the mat or ground beneath you if you're lying down. Crown of the head lifting. Just check in with the space behind your eyes. Just make sure there's no squinting, they're nice and soft. And the tongue is away from the roof of the mouth, so your jaw isn't clenching, there's no tension. And as soon as you release your jaw, that sends a hormonal signal around to the rest of your body that it is okay to relax. Just come back into that deep breath. In through the nose, filling up the belly. Out through the nose, belly retracts. You don't need to do anything else right now. All you need to do is breathe. Coming back into the present moment. This time is just for you and you have dedicated this time so make sure that you honour it. If you need something to focus on, focus on the count of your breath. Or maybe even the sensations in your body. Filling up your breath, filling up the light all the way through from the toes up to the crown. So our final seventh chakra. Allowing your body to feel light and lifted here. If you can stay here for longer, please do. If not, start to wiggle the toes, wiggle the fingers. Coming into a really big stretch, fingers and toes as far away from one another as possible, reaching the hands up to the sky if you're in your chair. Exhale, release. Coming all the way back up to seated if you are lying down. Hands onto your Hands together at heart center. Bow the chin to the chest, thumbs to the third eye center. So just in between the eyebrows. You should be so proud of yourself for showing up, dedicating yourself and time to your practice. And it's not often that we really work on targeted areas and focusing our poses 
on specific things that we want to change in our bodies and improve. So well done. Whenever you're ready to come to the end of our practice today, hands away from the eyes and blink the eyes open.